Hi everyone. Stroboscopic photography, uh, or sometimes referred to as multiple flash photography, is a lighting technique that allows you to capture subject's movement in a single frame by firing a flash multiple times during one long exposure. Instead of freezing only one instant in time, the flash creates a series of still frames that trace the movement's path. The concept is simple, but so powerful. The shutter remains open longer than usual exposure, typically it's between one to 10 seconds, and then the flash fires multiple bursts at precise intervals during that exposure. The result is a motion sequence displayed as a layered composition on a single frame. In order to uh, shoot in stroboscopic mode, you need a flash to support it. Today I'm using this Nikon SB910 and other flashes like SB5000 or other brands and even the third parties sometimes offer this stroboscopic mode. Also, uh, you need to set your camera for shooting stroboscopic photography. Before shooting any photos, I'm gonna show you how to set your camera for uh, stroboscopic photography and also how to set your flash. First of all, just make sure that your camera is in manual mode and uh, set the shutter speed to one second for the start. I'm going to choose aperture 11. ISO change to 100. Then go to the white balance and uh, I'm going to put it on direct sunlight because the uh, speed light that I'm using, the output uh, color temperature is very close to sunlight color temperature. And uh, then go to menu. I'm going to shooting display and uh, set the exposure delay mode to three seconds. So uh, camera waits three seconds uh, before taking the shots just to prevent any vibration or shake of the camera. To pick photography, just go to mode and change the mode to RPT, repeat. And now we're going to set the a flash power so I'm gonna set it to 1 64th of the power if I want to take a photo right now uh, it's gonna be 1 64th of the power and it's gonna take five shots five times and five Hertz it means five flashes will be fired if I change this to, uh, let's say, 10 and 10, so it's going to be 10 frames and 10 flashes. Let's change this to 5. So if I want to take this, that's going to be 10 frames and five flashes and there's a formula to figure out the shutter speed for this photo so it's very simple 10 divided by 5 equals 2 so you can change the shutter speed on your camera to 2 seconds if you go 
ten and three then your shutter speed is going to be 10 divided by 3 it's going to be 3.3 so 3 uh, seconds is the shutter speed to shoot uh, multiple exposure flash need to stabilize your camera on a tripod and uh, this shot has been taken with 10 times and 5 hertz this shot was taken at 10 times and 10 hertz meaning that 10 frames and 10 flashes and this photo was taken with 20 times and 20 hertz 20 images 20 shots and 20 flashes In stroboscopic or multi-flash photography, the hertz setting on your flash controls the frequency of the flashes per second. And uh, what happens when you increase the frequency? The flashes occur closer together in time, meaning the intervals between each flash are shorter. On your final photo, assuming long exposure, the subject's motion trail will have more steps or positions recorded within the same frame. The spacing between each frozen position of the subject will appear tighter and closer. When the flash doesn't fire, uh, the camera is going to pick up the ambient light and what you get it's a trail of light. Stroboscopic photography can be used in sports to analyze a tennis serve or a basketball dunk. Also, it can be used in science and technology. Let's say, study the trajectory of a bouncing ball. And it can be used in dance and performance, showing the multiple positions uh, of a performance or a dancer in a graceful single frame. The stroboscopic or uh, multiple flash photography is one of the most striking ways to visualize movement by carefully balancing shutter speed, flash power, and frequency. You'll be able to create images that looks like a flipbook frozen in a single frame. Whether you're a sport photographer analyzing movement, an educator explaining physics, or an artist experimenting with light, with stroboscopic flash, you can capture sequence of actions in a single frame, not just a single instant. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope you liked it and you learned something. If you did, just hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you give me the support and motivation to make these videos. I'm posting a new video every week on Monday or Tuesday. And uh, by subscribing, you won't be missing any of the future ones. If you have a question, just leave it in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer him. As usual, take good care of yourself. Keep shooting and I see you soon. Cheers.